What's up guys, it's Dom here and today we've got a Jaws of Oblivion unboxing and I must click that. So today obviously we're going to get through all these packs and see how lucky we get. Instantly into a legendary. Okay, that's a good start. Bloody hand chef. Awesome. I mean, if you saw my uh, legendary opinion videos, I did say it was one of the worst ones in the set, but oh well, we're going to ignore that. Second pack, let's go. And an epic. Wow, my luck is good today. Let's return Blymoth Priests. Oh, that's, that's good. And that's premium. I like that. I like a good Zivoli. Okay, and now my luck's turning a bit more realistic. So, the one rare. Dive Rock. Always got to have mad respect for that. Oh, there's three rares in that one. Nice. Uh, another Dive Rock full Blades Guardian, which is cool. Could make a Blades deck. And Dramora Archer. Seeing a few ideas that we could actually put into effect. Um, nice. Giant Swordfish. Remember meeting that in Oblivion? That always creeped me out. They look like they're having a good little duel there, so I'll leave them to it. Black Soul Gem. When a friendly creature dies, give a random creature in your hand plus one plus one. And that is an ongoing support. So this um, put with the Necromancer's amulet could just make it so your opponent just doesn't want to destroy your units. I can see there being a few cool decks with that. Another Black Soul Gem. Jeez, I'm going to have the Mages Guild all over me at this rate. Not even 10 packs in. The sunken one, I enjoyed that quest in Oblivion, kind of out the way, kind of something that you'd be like, wait, what? I, I don't recall playing that on some of my like first few play playthroughs of Oblivion, and uh, I've played through it enough to get called a bit of a noob, and by noob I mean sweat. Cool, lots of Daedric cards, put them together in the deck hopefully. Again, nothing too, nothing too cool there. Not really sure how these relate to Oblivion. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments. I mean, I might just be forgetting something really obvious. A few more nice cards. I was hoping that was, um, what was it? Was it Pork Chop? It was the one that was in the arena and you got um, to fight the champion and the other two people. That'd be cool if it was. A third Black Soul Gem, okay. Right, we're gonna have to make a deck with them now. Consistency is through the roof. Nice few cards. Uh, Widow Daedra, that's cool. It's nice seeing a Spider Daedra which isn't an agility legendary and over costly. No offense to that card, obviously, just don't really see it that much. Okay, maybe we could be making a goblin deck as well. At least this means I'll actually have videos coming out later this week. I know I skipped a week doing actual gameplay videos. Painted World costs two less for each attribute you have in play. Um. If you uh, summon a painted troll in each lane. Okay, nice. That's kind of cool. Painted trolls are 4 4 regenerate summon and they become a random attribute. I guess that works with Unite the Houses. Could be a bit of fun to play with. At least they're not in the basement. Uh, if people remember that reference, I'm going to be so proud of them. Uh, 
stop, you violated the law. Although that does look like a Kavach guard, so I'm kind of surprised he's, you know, alive. No offense to that. Just had to get out of there. Martin Septim! Ah, oh, god damn it, Sean. I was just gonna buy your deck. No, I can't really do it. Silly old Sean, and then there's obviously Shiny Scamp. Cool. Valkyna's Mage. Ward when it's broken, invade. That's good for a one cost. I like that. Someone one in the right lane. Okay. Another Valkyna's Mage. Cool. We're getting our little invasion deck ready now. I think I just love Fresh Start, how it's like, it's set just outside of the Imperial Sewers, and you can even see, like, the Bivler in there, and there's obviously a boat, which I don't really remember from Oblivion, but, yeah, no, nah, the card arts are out of this world. Please stop obsessing over certain cards which I draw. Oh. What's this do? It does damage from a creature, give a creature. Oh, so that's going to work well with our legendary goblin we got. Okay. Nice. Different kind of Zivali. That's nice. That's cool. Brotherhood Suspect. One cost two four. Last gasp, your opponent draws a completed contract. That's alright. I mean, it's got good stats, I suppose. I would kind of prefer if it was like maybe three three, but Vegas can't be choosing. So. Defensive Bruma Premium. Nice. Cost two less for each friendly creature with five or more health. Give friendly creatures plus one, plus one, and guard. I mean, that's really cool and all, but if you don't remember with the defensive Bruma, there was like, what? Joffrey, he was there. Barris was there if he was still alive. And I think that was all the blades that actually bothered to show up. You just had to get mostly guards. But, you know, for, for the actual artwork, I'll be like, hell yeah, that happened. Cool. Noise. Just clicking on a random order now. Waiting for a cool card. Uh, bottom middle, top right, bottom right. I said right and I went to top left. Oops, never mind. A fourth black soul gem. Yay. Oh, Ramless Polymus is going to come down on me for having them. Oh well. I can always just join the, like, necromancers. Miskaran Lich. Summon choose an enemy creature at the start of your turn if the chosen creature is alive. Summon a 1 1 risen dead with guard in its lane. Again, one of the other legendaries that I didn't think was that good at this set, but I guess I can have a little go of it. I suppose if it does survive one turn, you are going to start hassling your opponent. Okay. Another blind moth priest. Okay, nice. Now with my aggro decks, I can actually tell what I'm about to mess up. A third blind moth priest. Yay. Getting that consistency right off the bat. 
was kind of hoping for a who done it, so I could be like, hey, I revealed that card. But no. Really? Three epics in a pack? That's a fourth place bot priest. <laughs> a siege crawler. And unfinished business. Costs three less for each wounded friendly creature. Unsummon a creature, then you may unsummon a friendly creature. God damn, Maglia, what's he up to now? Three epics in one pack, and that's what happens. Seeing quite a few of these dive rock pools now. A fifth black soldier, okay, cool. Be nice if you could, like, polymerize adoring fan and dive rock fool to get like something cool I don't know of course this would happen I don't know second siege crawler okay I guess the uh, cannon Daedra deck is gonna have to come along with seen a lot of these so far. Come on, let's hope we get one more legendary in these packs before we actually open the guaranteed legendaries. Mm, that's premium, so that's nice. Another unfinished business. Of course, Magma was default twice. Done it! Yes! So believe it or not, but I actually did a yeah, you, you know I did a card reveal on this because I mentioned it earlier and become a bit of a snob who expects an unboxing video to get more views on the card reveal. A second lich. I mean I did ask for another legendary, so thank you, I guess. Not mad, just slightly disappointed in myself. Brotherhood Suspect. Okay, so we've got three legendaries. I'm hoping one of the premiums is a unicorn, and any others I want. Umra will be quite cool. Hmm. Grey Fox, maybe. Hopefully, one that I haven't got yet, and hopefully, not Mankar Cameron, just because I want to buy that pack. Hannibal Traven! Nice! That's a good legendary. I have fun with that one. Unicorn, unicorn, forces of destruction. Never mind. And this will be my unicorn. Please be the unicorn. Please. Modron Owen. Oh, that's not how you say his last name's Orin. Orain. Ah, uh, what a chad. But yeah, that pretty much sums up this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.